Casper, what have you done? What have you done? What do you think we're doing today? What the heck? I don't even know what to say, holy crap. Let me reveal that. Oh my God. We are going on a helicopter I wine and dine tour. No, <laughs> I don't do helicopters. Well, that's why it's a surprise. So oh, there's no way of saying no now and <laughs> no turning back. Oh my God, holy crap. So how cool is that? I just did my nervous wheeze, so I think we're good now. So all ready to go. <laughs> Yeah. I'm freaking out a bit, <laughs> not gonna lie. This is definitely out of my comfort zone. I love helicopters. So now that I finally got Carly in the air, we are off to our first stop for wine tasting at the Overflow Estate. workout because I can feel every bump so I was like tensing up um, my legs are a bit shaky I think I enjoyed the view <laughs> I'll have to watch the footage back uh, <laughs> I was pretty nervous uh, got my hands got a bit sweaty um, but anyway it's, it's good to be out and, and on the ground right now well, let's go and have a glass of wine now and let's settle you down a bit I reckon <laughs> I think I need the wine bring on the wine So this wine is a hazelnut with pear and the first thing I could smell really strongly was the pear. I don't think I've ever tasted a wine where I can actually smell the flavours that they say that they have in them. Uh, but this is really distinct. Yeah, tastes like pear. So just tasting the sparkling white and it has a delicious taste of like honey that I can taste very subtly but on the palate. Um, you can even smell it. It's absolutely delicious and it really just matches the surroundings that we're in here like the Aussie bush and then this beautiful honey smell. I'm seriously impressed. This is really delicious. Okay, so I was a bit freaked out, but it's actually a really romantic thing to do. So I wouldn't do it with anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> That's a great But tour. I'm a little bit worried now because Casper would like a helicopter. He's obsessed with planes and helicopters and anything that fly. Um, so I'm a little worried now that he's going to want to buy one. <laughs> So far I'll stick to my drone, but uh, let's see what the future brings. So I just went for a little spin in the vineyards and unfortunately I've had a shoe malfunction. So uh, what the perfect day to have a wardrobe mishap. Um, so anyway, uh, I could be barefoot by the end of the day, but I might be anyway after all the wine. So anyway. Let's have a look at it. <laughs> no, no clue. 
my poor shoe. Joanne Mercer's, they're my favorite. But I don't think this is gonna last the day. So we're gonna to try to do a little DIY. Um, so I'm gonna like, okay, good as new. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to try the rosé now. <laughs> uh, I can taste Cheerio sausage. <laughs> I don't know how, but it literally tastes like a Cheerio sausage. I don't know if they fuse their wine with Cheerio sausages. <laughs> I have no idea, but that's, that's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting on my palate here. So we've gone from pear to honey to Cheerio sausage. Cheerio sausage. Yep. Structural rabbits the stadium. And we've clad these pine trusses with this aluminium label. I was actually have a bit of a flavor on Cheerio sausage. It's so weird. I'm not sure if that's a good or a bad thing, but. It doesn't taste bad, it's just a bit of a unique flavor, I would say. <laughs> I just need a bun, some ketchup, and uh, some mustard, and uh, you have a hot dog. <laughs> My other shoe is falling apart now, so I hope the helicopter is built better than these <laughs> shoes of mine. <laughs> so ridiculous, it's such a kindly thing to do. <laughs> So what do you think? <laughs> uh, it's very nice. It's quite strong. Has the burn. <laughs> I, I like it. Small sips though. Small sips for me. <laughs> Ruby port. Um, this port has never been in a barrel. Cool. Okay. Want to have a little sip yeah, and I'm taste? Good. Yeah, I love this one. It's yeah. really, oh, I have really a taste nice. Too. Yeah. 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 It's very nice. It's very kind of smooth and quite a strong flavour actually still, but, but smooth and, and easy to drink. Very nice port. Yeah. Very nice. I'm so excited to have lunch. Super hungry. Need to have something to soak up this uh, wine with. Um, but it's really beautiful here. So we're at Spices at Hidden Vale. Um, absolutely stunning ground. So I can't wait to show you around. Come on inside. Okay, 
Okay, so we have just got to our third stop of the day, so ready for lunch now. We're at Homage Restaurant at Spice's Hidden Vale. Uh, the menu looks absolutely delicious. We have emu. I've never tried emu. So. I might actually try it, I think, just it to try be, something completely new. Yeah, it could be interesting. So we're just about to have our entree, so I'm having emu. Uh, it sounds a bit weird, so I'm kind of really curious. I've never tasted emu before. Let's see what that's like. So for people who don't know what an emu is, I guess it's a bit like an ostrich, basically. <laughs> so let's taste it and see what it's like. Oh, it's a bit like pork. Like pork? Yeah. Mm. Oh, it has a bit like a... It's an interesting texture too. So it's not like it melts in the mouth. But it's it's really tasty and it's it's pleasant. It's nice to eat. Okay, I'm gonna taste a bit of Casper's emu now. Here we go. What do you think? Mm. Mm. Goes really well with the beetroot. Like I was expecting it to be quite gamey, uh, but it's actually a lot lighter. Um, yeah, yeah, it's I not like a it. strong flavour. It's not a super strong flavour, yeah. um, but it's really nice, really tender, um, but still has a little bit of texture as well. Uh, yeah. It just goes really well with the and it's really nice fruit with... and the, the berries. Okay, so I kind of feel like I'm eating Australia's national bird. It is in the coat of arms after all. Um, <laughs> so I feel a little guilty about it. Um, but it, on the other hand, it's pretty delicious. Mm. Okay, so I'm having the sirloin and it's cut really, really thin. It comes with some beautiful mushrooms and it looks like there's a parmesan in there. All right, I'm going to try a little bit of this. It's very delicate. Very thinly cut, as you can see. Mmm. I'm not sure what this is, but it almost has like a little bit of a salty kind of sea flavor, almost like a seaweed, I would say. Um, the mushrooms are really beautiful and the meat is just cut so thin and it's just super tender. It just melts in your mouth. I need to find out what this is. I don't know if it's like salt bush or something like that. I need to find out what this is. But it has like almost like a salty taste of the sea. Uh, I'm having a Wagyu cap with a potato. It looks really delicious. I can't wait to dig in. Mm. Beautiful. Okay, so I have um, butternut pumpkin prepared six different ways. That is a massive carrot. It's huge. Look how big it is. It looks absolutely delicious though. We were so lucky with the weather on this trip. And on the way back, we even got beautiful views over Brisbane City. As long as we are watching the fire, we'll be safe from the devil's choir. So we just arrived back at Arthur Field after a great day out. What did you think? Okay, I was super freaked out this morning, but it was such a great trip. It was so much fun. I Thank you for my amazing husband for surprising me with this. The wineries, the food, everything has been super awesome. Our pilot was amazing. So thank you to Elite. Um, it's just been an awesome day. Absolutely. We can't wait to do this again. <laughs> and thank you for watching and see you next time on Living, Living the, the Joe Life. And it won't take a love, your friend.